Yeah, welcome to Wild Watch. I'm the Wild Word File at Raceway. Yes, for the Timaru meeting on Sunday afternoon. 10 race program first starting just after midday. The maiden trot, race number two. Boy, there was a black booker from the graduation final at Rangiora last week. It's named Downtown Orlando. It was a massive run because this is a really good form race. So the awesome highlight is actually last in the Letherby Colours coming to the very outside in a race that was dominated by Tirapa and, of course, Celta Garden, who gets up the trail. Both very handy horses. Air I Wool's in here. Carwee's in here. Uh, what the Bell's out wide in the black colours. And right down the very outside, just starting to wind up those big legs is Downtown Orlando. And he did wind them up inside the last 200 metres. Look at him coming into the shot late. He ends up running into fourth in what I consider a really strong maiden field. Now he goes to Timaru over the 2,600 metres. Again, it's all about the manners and what price you can get. Race two, number 10, Downtown Orlando. He's the horse to beat. Main dangers, King of Diamonds and Bullet Train, I'd certainly want to consider. Now race number five, a horse that I thought could be a little bit of value is Major Cheddar. He's been parked out in his last three starts. Can't get a decent trip. Let's have a look at his one three starts ago. He's got to the trail here at about the 400 metre mark. He's in the black colours of Brad Mowbray, but he'd been parked for the entire journey. Dropped onto the leader's back for a little bit of a rest and then dashes home to run third. Now after this, he went to, to the graduation heats and final at Rangura. And as I said, those were really competitive, strong maiden fields. He ended up running fourth in the heat behind Why Me Up, and then he ran sixth in the final last week behind Sweet Coco. Three of the first five that beat him home were actually winning of races. He was a maiden, so I don't mind Major Cheddar. I think he's drawn the second row. It'll just add to your price. He's just got to work his way through. The main danger is a horse called uh, Kalinchi Kid that's got Barry number one and also won the second row. Ambleside Drive in very good form included as well. Now, the Timur Cup, one of the features of the Winter Cup, I really like Jimmy Ray. Now, John Morrison's dr uh, driving really well. His team are going really well, and this was a strong form race at Eddington last night. Start. The horses in the pink colours with the gold cap of John driving here and a race that was won by Don Maro. Now Don Maro's won its uh, two starts this time up, both times very impressive. Happy Place was in here. Beach ball right down the very outside goes to Addington. Jimmy Ray on the speed, sticky on nicely to run third in what was a significantly stronger field. Now he's had a standing start three starts ago at Methven and he did win from a stand. He is a little bit of a risk but again, depending on what price, no fixed odds are recalled Thursday morning. I think he's near enough the best of the day, Jimmy Ray. He's in very good form, and if he can replicate that run, he's the horse to beat. Main dangers, Art Attack, Angel of Montana, and the roughie in the race, Marin Franco. Got a lot of duck, duck eggs beside its name, but gee, it was good off the clock last start. Let's look, have a look at the horses highlighted for you on Whale Watch on Sunday afternoon. The Black Book is race two. It's downtown Orlando. Uh, really got home strong in that graduation final. All about the manners. If he does it right, he can win. Valley Bet Race 5, number 11, Major Cheddar. He's actually going a lot better than the form line reads. Just needs a little bit of luck, and maybe he can get it on Sunday. And the drop back after racing at Addington against Don Morrow. Race 8, number 9, Jimmy Ray.